Curtis, you've trusted in Christ as your Savior and Lord. Yes. All right. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, God created this world to function rightly. There wasn't any sin. There wasn't any death. There wasn't any suffering. There wasn't any pain. It was heaven on earth. But also in the beginning, the first people came along and shook their fist at God and said, we're going to live life our own way. And at that point, this universe broke. And that's when the sin and the suffering and the dying and the pain all came about. I have the privilege of introducing my friend Mallory to you today. Dan Kluke is my, uh, my friend here today. Dan was stubborn, I'm sure, unlike any of you all. And uh, he went his own way. He sought faith and, and uh, fulfillment in all sorts of things that were not of God, like his friends, his hobbies, his career, alcohol. As many of us can relate to, she began to stray a little bit as a teenager. She was headed toward a life of destruction and death. But rather than God wadding us up like a little piece of paper and throwing us in the paper basket, God said, but I love you because I've created you and I'm going to come and I'm going to rescue you from your condition of sin. She said, even when I turned away from God, he never left. And it wasn't that he was just there. It wasn't like he was just waiting on me to come back. He was pursuing me. He loved me enough that he came after me and he chased me and he recklessly loved me. And he brought me back to him. And that's why he sent his only son, Jesus. He died the death of punishment and said, I'll take the hit for your sins. They took him off the cross when he was dead and they buried him. And then on the third day, what happened? He came out of that grave and conquered death. And then he says, I will give you life as well, everlasting and abundant life. And so he surrendered his life to Jesus Christ and today he wants to make a public profession of that faith. She is a testament to surrendering her physical difficulties in those circumstances to the Lord. She wants to show that her old is washed away and for the new to come. That old self has been laid to rest, but the new self full of the power of the Holy Spirit living inside of me now is raised to life. So here comes Dan to publicly declare death to those old ways and enter into new life in Christ. And so today we are celebrating Mallory's return to God and this new life that she has in him. So you began trusting in Jesus as your Savior. Yes. Good. Then I baptize you in the Father, Son, 